Gemini, tap in. Oh, drop your sun, moon, and rising down below. We are in Aquarius season. We are still in this Mercury retrograde, so do not, okay. Do not forget to check out your sun, moon, and rising readings as well, as well as that Mercury retrograde reading that I've done for you. Let me know where you are watching from, your city, state, and or country, the job, the bed, in the car. We're going to get right into these messages of what you need to be looking out for, what new is coming your way. These are the first two things that came out, so we're just going to flip them over. You have the Page of Pentacles, Ooh, new opportunities coming in, and the Lovers, your energy, Gemini, in the reverse. So having to do with choices. And it could be that you're presented with an offer that is too good to be true here. Could be dealing with an immature person, talking about marriage, love, and commitment, moving in together too soon. Or it could be a karmic relationship getting ready to come in. Or somebody from a past karmic relationship reaching out to you. The two of pentacles, which speaks to juggling, balance, trying to find the balance in the situation here. The seven of pentacles looking at your long-term goals. So for some of you, this is a new job opportunity, a new love opportunity, maybe somebody that's coming in from the past that's now realigned with you with this seven. Sending you some messages of commitment, how they've changed here, how they'd like to move forward, how they remember you and miss you from the past. The nine of swords, your energy, Gemini, which speaks to somebody being nervous, anxious, not being able to sleep at night, carrying something heavy. The Nine of Wands, the Wounded Warrior, having some, having your guard up, having your walls put up still, not sure if you want to receive this person. And Aquarius energy here with the star, which speaks to divine protection, being in alignment with the universe here. So we have Aquarius energy, Gemini, you. You have some type of communication that's getting ready to come in. So whether that's a new job opportunity you've been looking for, sending out your resume, the Knight of Swords here. This is something that's coming and rushing in. Or this could be a, a past lover. Somebody from your past that's made some changes here, that you've been realigned with each other. We see that with the Seven of Pentacles here. The Oshun card here with the star. Having your walls still up, dealing with this person. We have two nines. The Nine of Air and the Nine of Fire. Nines having to do with closing out a cycle or getting towards the end of a cycle here. And this person and you could have gone through some changes and are ready to come back together. Scorpio energy here with the death card in the reverse. So one door closed so that new doors can open for you, but somebody is coming back. Period, point blank. This is somebody wanting to come back um, and rekindle something with you. So for some of you, these are new job opportunities, maybe a new job opportunity at somewhere, place you already worked before or with somebody that you've worked with in the past that you're very familiar and comfortable with. But for others of you, this is a past lover coming in, making some changes here, looking in the rear view mirror at the situation and wondering if things could have been different. Maybe you're wondering if things could be different. Maybe you've even manifested this person coming back here with the star card here. Mm. And here they are with this death card and this knight of swords coming in, rushing in, coming to equally give to you with this two of pentacles, bringing the balance back to a situation. More earth energy with the Taurus card, the king of pentacles. This is somebody being solid and stable, not just financially, but emotionally here. But this is also a card of somebody being stubborn. Now that could be you wanting to reach out to them and them not. Or vice versa, them wanting to reach out to you and not being able to do it here because they're very nervous. Maybe about how it ended in the past year. Maybe it was a little bit chaotic. The Knight of Wands in the reverse. The Knight of Air, the Knight of Fire. We have the Nine of Fire and the Nine of Air. Is this a fire sign person that's coming back? Or just somebody that you were very passionate with that maybe, maybe the passion wasn't the issue. Maybe it was, again, your long-term goals being misaligned. Maybe you were in two different places in life, Gemini when you and this person broke up. The Ten of Cups in the reverse. This speaks to somebody, again, being in a re realigning with you or looking back as, this, as she has this mirror in her face, but it almost doesn't look like she's looking at the mirror when I look at this. It looks like she's almost using that mirror to look behind her, sword in the other hand, like she's holding back some communication, swords, your energy, um, as well as Aquarius and Libra communication um, thoughts. But looking back, thinking about the past and wondering what could it, could it have been different? 
is there still an opportunity here? Because with this Ten of Cups, somebody is not happy. They're not happy in their current situation. Maybe they chose somebody over you and they're just unhappy with that or it didn't work out the way that they thought it would. And somebody is being very stubborn as they're thinking about this because remember, these are general messages. This energy could be vice versa. And somebody stubbornly not wanting, I feel like watching you from a distance, but not wanting to say anything. Nervous about how they'll be received when they come forward. Because when they come forward, it's almost like they're going to be so excited with this Knight of Wands that they're going to come rushing in, like showing up at your house or blowing up your phone, sending you this long email or this long text message talking about, hey, it's me, blah, 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 blah giving you the rundown about how they feel. We have the 10 of the major arcana, the Wheel of Fortune, which speaks to divine timing, which is a karmic wheel. What goes around comes around. In the upright, this is good luck. So somebody's coming in, and this may be the right time for this person to come back. Or this person may be coming in to come back, but this, they just give you some closure because maybe you're done with this person. We have the Eight of Cups in reverse. This person is definitely coming back after walking away from a situation, person, place, thing, idea that is no longer serving them. Bringing balance back to a situation. And we see in this card, somebody behind that door, almost like they're telling it goodbye, like they're wiping some tears away from their eyes as they walk away. Whatever this past situation was that now has them back into alignment with you, they're really over it. There's nothing left there. The page of wands in the reverse, which speaks to sending messages of passion. Pages are messengers. And it could be that this person is sending you these messages of passion. Hey, big head. Hey, how you doing? Um, calling you. And you're not sure what they're calling about. You may think it... It's more drama that this person is being to the table here. Maybe you know them to be very stubborn, so you're thinking that they haven't made any changes here. So these messages could be ignored. That's why they're in the reverse. Or again, this person is very scared to reach out, to send you these messages of how they're feeling, what they want, and where they're at right now. The Eight of Pentacles in the reverse, which speaks to somebody working on themselves, building, mastery. Underneath this Nine of Wands, which is you protecting yourself, this person coming back from the past, we have the Knight of Wands here, which is also player energy. So you could be telling me that there was a cheatation. There was you and somebody else involved, a third party situation, and now they're wanting to come back. Maybe they're talking about how they've worked on themselves, or maybe they see that you've worked on yourself, and maybe that's what's giving them the strength and the courage to come forward and, and reach out to you. But this person's also done some work because the way that the... If this person chose somebody else over you and they're having this eight of cups, death card energy moment here and being real realigned with you, they've learned some lessons. And this is somebody, and it's you're not learning a lesson when you're just changing people up to fix yourself. This is somebody who played with fire, maybe, and got burned here. They learned the lesson. Maybe they've been single for a while and now they've either maybe they crossed paths with you at the store. Um, maybe they came across your profile on um a social media network and saw you and you got put back in their mind. But this is somebody who's learned some type of lessons in love here or in relationships and is wanting to come back. This may be somebody who's sending you these messages of passion and commitment here, passion here, commitment here, because they learned some lessons. They went through a karmic relationship. Maybe what they did to you happened to them. Maybe this other partner that they chose over you wasn't what they thought it was going to be. Maybe they were an emotional manipulator or dealing with an emotional manipulator. And for some of you that they were indeed an emotional manipulator to you, they got with somebody who was just as big as an emotional manipulator. And that drained them, maybe even drained them financially, emotionally here. And now they're wanting to come back to you, Gemini, and start fresh, start new. The magician here, and we're going to leave that right over there, which speaks to mind games, having all the tools necessary to be successful in any given situation here, as he has fire air, earth, and water all at his disposal. But when I see that hand on this person's head, let me put this up to the camera really quick. This is a card of manipulation, of deception, somebody wanting to be in control of things. And again, if this was a third party situation, if it was for some, but this could also be third parties as far as family members getting in the mix, friends getting in the mix, people not minding their own business, getting in their head, getting in their ear. But for me, this makes, for those of you that would, this was a third party between this person and you and another lover trying to control the situation and now it got out of hand or being controlling and manipulative and now they've received their karma here. 
lovers in reverse, wheel of fortune, and wanting to come back, having a fresh new start with you, a brand new beginning, happy endings. This thing ending here with this death card, it being a happy ending because now they're realigned with you or they get to start over. The sun is Leo energy. It has to do with happiness, triumph, the grass being greener on the other side when I see it on the upright. Um, could be fertility as well. Happy endings, brand new beginnings. So this person is hoping that they can have a brand new beginning with you. And again, we see this manifestation card here. Looks like this person is praying for a new beginning, for the sun to re-come back out on this situation, on this relationship that they have with you. We have the Empress here, Taurus, Libra energy. This speaking to somebody being beautiful or handsome, creative and abundant, emotionally balanced and stable here. Now, you could be telling me, and again, this also has to, is depicted typically by a pregnant woman. So you could be telling me that this person wants a second opportunity with you, wants to start a family with you, coming back together. We have these two Taurus energies right next to each other. Um, but this is somebody who maybe was an emotional manipulator for some in the past that's now learned some lessons and got, brought some balance back to the situation, realizing how selfish they were. The Queen of Cups in the reverse which speaks to having, um, in the upright, having hope, having faith that things can work out. This is the most nurturing queen in the deck. Now we have all four queens showing up here in the Empress card. That's what she embodies. But this is somebody ignoring their intuition maybe in the past or knowing that they can't go back to that past situation. Again, that they burn, to, they burn bridges over here or they burn that bridge down and know that there's no hope and faith for that past relationship to happen. For some of you, this is how you feel when this person approaches you. It's like, mm, I can't go back there. The waters are too rough. It's an uphill battle with this person. But then we have, mm. you could also be telling me that this person burned their bridges here because they were very cowardly and how they ended things with this king of wands in the reverse, which is exactly what that speaks to. In the upright, this is somebody boldly coming forward, boldly taking some action here, taking care of business. But in the reverse, this is a coward, a coward. Somebody who it's it's just rough goings with this person for some, but for others of you, this is how this what this person is doing. Getting the manifesting you coming back or a brand new beginning, getting emotionally balanced here, getting their stuff together, leaving this past situation behind here, but they are very afraid of coming forward. And how you're going to receive them. We have the world card here. We just left 2021 behind us. This card is the 21, but this has this speaks to tying up those loose ends. Getting ready to start a new chapter here. Traveling. Letting things go. Freeing themselves from the things that, that were keeping them stuck. The Four of Swords. Your energy, Gemini. This speaks to taking a rest, taking a break, sitting on something until you're ready to make a final decision on this. And with this Empress being above that, the Death card underneath it, this King of um, Pentacles underneath that, we also have this Page of Wands in the reverse and this Eight of Cups in the reverse. This is somebody who was single for a while or sat on this idea of reaching out to you. So this isn't somebody who just on, on a whim saw your profile online and they want to hit you up. They've been thinking about this for months, maybe even years for some of you and are looking to come forward. The Eight of Wands in the reverse. Some of you are worried about, especially since the Queen of Cups is all about using your intuition, you're worried about ignoring it and allowing this person back and they haven't made any changes that's what this Eight of Wands speaks to. Changes, swift communication, text message, emails, DMs, Snapchat, um, as well as swift traveling, um, getting in a car, getting on a train, getting on a plane to come and visit somebody. And you could also be telling me that this person lived at a distance from you and maybe they moved back home. The Queen of Swords here, Gemini, Aquarius energy. This is a queen who is very logical, taking all the emotions out of a situation to make logical, long-term, looking down the road decisions here, looking at the big picture. Because there was a betrayal of the heart here, and I'm going to keep this right underneath that with the Three of Swords in the reverse. So they betrayed you, maybe, by cheating, having these third parties involved, and were trying to cover it up. Maybe they even tried to turn the situation around on you at the end. Oh. But with this Three of Swords in the reverse and this Queen of Swords in the reverse, they're cutting somebody off that did what they did to you. For those of you that got cheated on, what happened to you happened to them. Mm. Wheel of Fortune. What goes around comes around. And now they're back. They've gone through some changes here. They had to fix themselves. They learned some serious lessons. And with this Six of Swords 
speaking to moving on to calmer waters, what I really see in this card is a sword pointing backwards, coming back to you. And maybe you're this empress, whether you are male or female. Solid as a rock. We see that with the King of Pentacles. Solid, stable, on it, emotionally balanced here. And that's what, maybe that's what that person needs. Maybe that's what this person has been missing here. We see the proposal card here in the reverse. We have two sixes now. Six is having to do with, oh, three. We have your energy here, Gemini, the six, the lovers. We have the six of cups here. And we have the six of swords, your energy twice showing up. And this water, these upside down feelings, having to walk in back to somebody. This is somebody who did you wrong and their blessings were blocked by that. They learned some karmic lessons here. They've been going through it single and now they're ready. They think they're ready to come back. Whether that is just to give you closure or just have a brand new passionate beginning with you with this Ace of Wands. And for some of you with this being in the reverse, there's no new beginnings here. Maybe they've done too much. It could be that you've moved on. You're in a new relationship here when this person reaches out to you. And it could also be with this queen of wands here in the reverse. Which speaks to a mistress. In the upright, this is somebody who is beautiful, strong, independent, focused on themselves, and very much divinely protected here. But in the reverse, and we have the king and the queen of wands here. Now, you could be telling me that this person chose somebody else over you over lust. Mm. really quickly here, quickly moved on after you. And now this person is coming in, seeking attention here, hoping that you'll just take them back because they don't want to be alone here. Or you could also be telling me that it's this other party, this queen of wands, coming in to manipula manipulate the situation. Maybe it's this queen of wands, this third party that's reaching out to you because somebody's definitely watching you from a distance here with this page of swords. Watch you from a distance, watching your social media, watching even your friends and family social media. And this may be even that third party that they're breaking up with lashing out when they find out that they're back with you. The four of cups here, um, two people coming together, wanting to bring balance back to a situation, putting something on the shelf here. You could be telling me that you're also going through a breakup, shelving this past relationship, and that's what's got you realigned coming back together, the both of you. Maybe, hmm. Or you could be telling me that this third party, whether it's your third, your ex person that you you recently walked away from, or this third party that was involved with you and this person, that they ghosted them, that they ended this situation very immaturely here, where we see with these pages, the page of wands, the page of pentacles, and the page of swords here, and just ghosted this person because somebody's pissed here and wants to control the narrative with that um, magician there. And with the nine of cups, now you could tell me that this person goes to their past person because they didn't know how to break up with people. Maybe you personally experienced that with that person or they're being very selfish or they walked away because this person is very selfish here and this person just cannot take it. The justice card in the reverse, Libra energy, the scales of justice tipping out of somebody's favor here and somebody coming in seeking these low vibrational attention here to shake things up, to ruin this brand new beginning. We see the tower card here. A tower moment coming. This person coming in pissed. It may have to do with a legal situation. Maybe they have a child with this person or children. Um, maybe this person was actually married to this other person. Maybe they got married or were married from the be beginning. And maybe they had you in a third party situation. And you were unaware or maybe some of you were aware. But this person is angry because it didn't end well. It didn't end the way that they thought it was going to. And it, this ghosting, this feeling like they don't have any closure here is causing them to do some crazy stuff. Selfishly acting out here, selfishly trying to expose this person, not waiting for karma to do what it's supposed to do, but creating their own chaos, conflict, and confusion, trying to um, shake up this foundation that they're trying to start with you here. The Two of Cups, which speaks to a friendship or a soulmate connection here. We already have the lovers, karmic or soulmate relationships coming together. This Page of Cups. And we have all the pages, these messages of love. Now, you could be telling me that this angry third party here is still sending your person or this person that's coming at you messages of love, how they still have feelings for them, but this person has just walked away and this person feels slighted, like they don't have any closure. I'm sending you the, or they, maybe they just feel vulnerable here. Like they were being very vulnerable with this person and they didn't get what they wanted. Somebody is angry and you need to be careful because they're going to pull you into this situation if you're around this person. 
or you need to be smart in how you move forward with this person and keeping it very much on the low under wraps. Not telling anybody until it's in a certain position here. The hangman and the two of swords. The hangman, Pisces energy, which speaks to clarity, a change in perspective, and letting go, going with the flow here. Or this could also be with this mistress being angry here, this third party could also be a mother or nosy friends that somebody feels like they've been hung out to dry here, like they've been left behind. And with this two of swords, they may be acting like there's no closure, but this person had a conversation with them. Somebody was being very mature here while somebody's being immature here. We see this older man and this younger man here having this conversation, shaking hands, wanting to let bygones be bygones here and wanting a fresh new start with you or somebody else. Because maybe this is you having to walk away from somebody that is um, toxic or no longer serving you anymore. The Six of Pentacles. Another six here having to do with choices. This is Libra energy. Even though it is an earth sign card. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Because this card has to do with balancing out the scales. Equally giving to something and also refers to reflects on somebody unfairly giving to two at one point and having these hidden feelings still with the moon. But this moon also speaks to the duality of a situation, the good and the bad, the pros and the cons, and maybe the things that are hidden that this person is not saying that are going on here. Because this person could be still going through a divorce or still going through that breakup. Maybe they haven't officially moved out together and that's why this person is angry. Like, how could you move on and we're still living together? Because this person in the background that they're not talking about or they're trying not to address is getting ready to cause some chaos, some conflicts, and some confusion. We already saw that with this tower moment. Another five here with the five of swords, your energy, Gemini. This being a verbal confrontation, whether that is good or bad, easy or hard, a verbal falling out. But this is also a card of a defeat. Somebody walking away, leaving the door. There's nothing left here. This house, there's nothing left. It's, it's, the walls are blown out. The roof is gone. Everything's being exposed here. And that could, again, be this queen of wands who is angry, bitter, not having it, not wanting to be left behind here, exposing this person, saying that they were waiting for their ships to come in. We have the empress here and now the emperor, um, the divine masculine, Aries energy, a husband, a father figure, a person of authority. But this is also a card when I see it in the reverse that speaks to somebody's pride and ego getting the best of them, holding a grudge. And somebody, this looks like somebody coming back to say something with this sword, even though this is a fire sign card. And the judgment card. And that's where we're going to leave it. Revelations, skeletons coming up out of the closet here. This angry person is getting ready to lay it all out here. But I'm just letting you know that this past person wants to come back. They want to work on it. They've gone through some changes here. But somebody doesn't want them to be seen as somebody who's changed. Somebody else wants to keep them in this past place. Them being um, toxic. Um, going back and forth. Them seeking attention in negative or low vibrational ways here. This third party is pissed because there's been a separation because they've been told to walk away or it's not going to work they feel stood up left behind and i feel like your person is doesn't do confrontation very well or somebody doesn't do confrontation very well because again we see this leo energy here with the strength card in the reverse which speaks to cowardly energy we have that cowardly energy here with the king of wands in the reverse so you could be telling me that this person tried to ghost this person in an effort to avoid the conflict and confusion and it just made it worse. But you have somebody coming back to you. Gemini, drop this person's sign down in the comment section. Let me know what resonated for you. Check out your sun, moon, and rising as well as your Mercury retrograde reading. Find me on Instagram. All that information is down in the description box. And I'll be checking in on you soon. Air sign family. Keep it real.